everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios where anything can happen. And today is Stampin' Up! Sunday. I first want to apologize for there not being a video last Sunday. Saturday afternoon I got hit with a serious sinus infection. And it was Thursday before I even felt semi-normal, which is when I am filming this video. Today we're going to do the project I had planned for us last week. And I've got a lot of the prep work done so we can keep this under the 20 minutes or so. But we're going to be making this frame right here. Now I've changed it up just a little bit for a couple of reasons. Number one, I do not have the spider web embossing folder from Stampin' Up. I didn't see the purpose in ordering the spider web embossing folder because I already have one from Doris that is similar and that's fine. I can't see duplicating products I already have. I'd rather spend my money buying the consumables like the papers, such as the foil. I've also changed up the color scheme a little bit because we've got a lot of these spiders in the background. Instead of doing the orange here, I have chosen to go with the purple because my theme over in my sewing corner where I'm going to put this is purple and black. So I went with the spiders on here instead of the spider web. And I've already pre-die cut all of the spiders. This size we have a die for, and let me pull the die set out that we're going to be using. We have the die for the larger spider. We don't have one for the smaller spider. I think that was a real major oversight on Stampin' Up's part. And I needed four of the big spiders and five of the little bitty ones. So I have hand cut out all of these. I stamped them on smoky slate cardstock using the... Um, Memento Tuxedo Black Embossing or uh, ink and then I fussy cut these out and I die cut the bigger spiders out so they'll be ready to go on the frame. Now this takes a 5x7 um, frame. I have, oh, well, let me go with the glass here. Here's the glass that goes in the frame that I have and I just happen to have a frame very similar to the one they used. I just had <clears throat> to paint it black and then we'll put it together <clears throat> excuse me so because this is bigger than our four by six frames what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in here and I'm going to go halfway through my vagabond or through my big shot rather let me reset this and I may have to pull out um let's see I gotta get I gotta get rid of a shim here hang on I'm still learning the layers on the Big Shot. I'll get rid of the one. There we go. I think that was going to do it. We'll see. And I'll run it back through this way. And we'll see if we get the impression. Not real strong. Let me try this. Let me try this. I think this is what I need to do. I think I need to pull tabs here. That's what I needed to do. I need to get rid of a tab there. Okay. I don't really have a lot of room here. I'll pull that one back. And then what I've got to do, I've got the first half of that embossed. Now I need to turn the paper around. And I'm going to try it. It's not going to line up perfect, but that's okay. It's a spider web, so, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to run this back through again, go in the other direction. There we go. And I'm going to see if I can crank this backwards here so I can pull it out. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So now we have our spider web on here all nicely embossed. And I'm going to hang on to this for a minute because I'm going to need to do some die cutting here in a minute. But that's the end of our embossing. So that'll be all ready to go behind our glass. Just like that. Okay, so we've got that set aside. Okay, then I have pre-stamped this piece here. And we're going to go ahead and cut it out. 
and I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. And we'll put a little bit of washi tape on there to hold that in place. God, you'd think I was brand new to this this morning, just being out of the studio for a few days. Okay, so I'm going to lay that right there. And then we'll get this put in here. I am still a little shaky, I will admit to that. You can hear it as it cuts, pops over top of that die. And that's that. Put our die back over here so I don't lose track of it, because I know I will. And then I'm going to move this out of my way. There we go. So we can move this. Now I've also pre-stamped and embossed the Happy Halloween from the stamp set, which is where this came from, and the Happy Halloween. I'm really trying to keep everything together here. And I need to color this in really quick. Now I stamped this. They did theirs on uh, Peacock. I stamped mine on Blackberry Bliss, which is also one of the colors. Let's see. Sorry, I didn't grab markers. The Blackberry Bliss is also one of the colors that coordinates with this Magic in This Night Designer Series paper. And you can see when they have the suites where they have lots of things that go together, they tell you which colors of cardstock go with this particular set. And so I've got this, and I'm going to lay this on here just in case I go over. Now when I do heat embossing, I use this uh, small clipboard wrapped in foil, and then this lets me set this up underneath here, and it holds my piece in place. And the um, uh, foil also reflects the heat back onto the... Um, back onto the piece you're embossing. Now I've got to get... That's really got a glare on there. Let's go this way. That's a little better. Now I'm just going to take my Blackberry Bliss marker... And I'm going to hit some of those veins and highlights in that flower. Same thing over here. Okay. And then I'm going to come back with the lighter Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Blends. And I'm still a little shaky, so I'm trying to do this very carefully. And it's not working very well, but we're trying. Now, once I get this colored, I know the flowers are a little hard to discern. So what I'll do is I'll come back with the um, blend blending brush, and I can remove some of this color off of there. And this will let me take some of the color back off. As well as, whoa, that one just leaked all over the place. That didn't make me happy. Um, I don't have anything here to mop it up with. So I'm going to wind up re-stamping this one. But we'll, we'll do this and show you how it goes together. Now, I had these stored so that they would not do that. You want to store your pens horizontally. And that just really did not make me happy. Now I'm coming back with Call Me Clover to do the leaves. So I guess lesson learned is to test your markers before you go to your actual, actual project, huh? And I'm not sure I like this, this green. I may come back when I redo this, come back with a darker green. Because that light green looks almost too light for this. Okay. So there's that. And let me see my picture here so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we want this here. And, oh, that was the other thing we needed. I guess we do still need our 
Stampin' Blend, we need to come back with our bigger one. The bigger of these, and that's what we're going to cut the background with from that spider background. Ah. So we will do this. Run it backwards here because I don't have any room off the back. There we go. Just set that down. Okay. Now we have this part cut. Now things will go together. Now <laughs> things will go together. Okay. Put our die back so we don't lose it. Okay. And then we want this to come down about the bottom third. And let's see. Um, because that's a silver, I'm not sure how well the glue part is going to stick. So I think what I'm going to use is a couple of pieces of the tear and tape just off to the sides. And I can just take and do that like that. I'm still a little shaky today, but this is the first day I've not taken hard meds and gone to bed so and of course you know you don't need this really super stable because it's going to be under the glass but you do need to not be shaking so you can get a hold of things that's always helpful okay and we're going to put this down to the bottom two-thirds just like that and then this one, I will redo and I will put over top. I'm going to put just a glue dot on there right now to hold it in place. Until we get this put together. And then I will take it apart later and redo. I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots on here to hold it where I need it to go. Can't believe how much I'm shaking this morning. Maybe I should have waited an extra day. And then we're going to set this. Try and center it on there as best we can. And then this is going to go through the center, but it really needs trimmed up. Um, now we have... How much room have we got to go across here? We want it to go all the way across to the edge of this. So let's go four inches. And we only need it to be a space of about three quarters of an inch. So let's take and cut this down. There. And four inches. And then we need to trim it down to three quarters of an inch. So there's just over an inch. And here's the three quarters of an inch. We've got just enough room there. Okay, just like that. And I think that will do it. Didn't put that on there very straight either, did I? You know, it is what it is. Yeah, and then that will fit right on there. And again, I'm going to put a temporary dot on there. Just to hold it. Until I go back and re-stamp that image. But I want you to be able to see this. Put together and I probably could trim that even just a little bit more okay and then we're going to set this in here set this in our frame and then I've got this ratty cardboard that came out of this and it goes up here like this and I'm just going to anchor a couple of the screws in here to hold it. So I can show you the very last part of this. Goodness, I can't believe how much I'm shaking this morning. Maybe I'm not feeling as well today as I thought I was. But I just couldn't, I couldn't stay down any longer and not be getting anything done. I was so proud of myself for having stuff up and running last week on time. And then the sinus infection hit me. And then we've got that now. Here's where the other part comes in. The part that makes it creepy 
is these spiders. And I'm going to turn this here. I'm having trouble seeing things this morning, too, I noticed. And I have these. These are the iridescent pearls that are part of this suite. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the spiders along here. Let's do that first. Now, I don't think they had a, actually had a glass frame in theirs. But I have these. I'm trying to get them out here. These are our black dimensionals. And we have them in the small and the regular size. Now, before I put that on there, I want to put one of these jewels on the back of the spider. Just like that. Gives him a little bit of dimension. And then we'll pop the paper off of here. And this guy needs to crawl right up across there. Just like that. And the neat thing is, is putting these in place isn't really going to hinder the, uh, when I take that apart to redo that flower, if I redo that flower, I mean, I've got that spider on there and I could move him up a little bit and you wouldn't even see that I boo-booed on that flower. That would work. And then we're going to put these little bitty pop dots on the backs of these teeny tiny spiders. Flip this guy over. And I probably could have used a half a spider, but we need... One to come up across here, and one to come up across here, coming across the frame, and this one to really be coming up. He's following, they're following Mama across the frame, I think. Okay, and then we're going to come back in with our jewels. Place those right on the spider. Now, because these are rounded, I chose to put the pop dot in place first. Because if I'd have tried to position the pop dot on there, they'd have just rolled around on me with that round pearl head on there. And then we need a couple more of the big ones. Let's put a bigger pop dot behind him. Oh, let's see. Let's put him right about there. And we need another big one to come across. I counted in the picture they had five of the big ones. No, it's four of the big ones and five of the little ones. And so we got one coming off of this center of the web here. And one more of the big ones coming across the top of this frame here. So see, even that little oops turned out to not really be an oops. And then we'll get the Get the pearls on here. Now we have the pick tool, but I have always had the most luck with just sliding my my needle tool up underneath to pick up my uh, adhesive back gems, just like that. Okay, and then we have two more of these little ones that we need to scatter around. And then we will be done with this. This was went pretty quick, wasn't it? Now that's the bigger ones. I need the small ones over here. No? I guess those are the small ones. Now in a couple of weeks I'll show you my sewing corner where I've been decorating for Halloween. I'm taking part in a Halloween tree challenge where we use everything with the exception of our tree from Dollar Tree. Uh, we're also allowed one bonus item, so like if we want lights and we can't find our lights at Dollar Tree, because not all Dollar Trees carry them, then we can um, use one bonus item. And today as I'm filming this, which is on Thursday, I have my tree brush picked out. I couldn't find a black one that I wanted, and I wasn't spending $25 for a tree. So I have gone out and picked out... Um, an oak branch that I had cut earlier this year when we had to trim trees. And there is our Halloween frame from a little 
bit of this, a little bit of that. But for the most part, it features the magic in this night suite from Stampin' Up. Now, if you do not have a Stampin' Up representative and you would like assistance in ordering these or any of our other products, or if you'd just like a catalog, leave me a comment down below. I also have an email address listed in the description box. You can email me, and I will be happy to send you a catalog. I can work with only with uh, customers in the United States. If you need assistance in finding a demonstrator in other countries, um, I can do. I can direct you in how to do that as well. Um, but this is from our holiday catalog, which is good until the 1st of January. And this particular item is on page 52 of our catalog. I will be back next week with another decoration for your home using the magic in this night suite and we're going to be we're going to be featuring the border die wait till you see what we do with that thanks for joining me in the studio today remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel when you subscribe to my channel you become part of my shout out saturday group where if you have a channel whether you have your own videos or you just have playlists of others that you like to watch i will shout out your channel in a link and so others can come pay you a visit as well. I will see you tomorrow for my monthly challenge video. Thanks for joining me. Creative Blessings.